Welcome everyone. In today's class, I'm going to show you how to do consistent product AI photography, show you how to edit your images, how to make video, how to cast your actors into it. Lesson one, generating images with your product. We're going to go to the transform tab and we're going to upload this product here. Then we're going to select the Flux Context Max model and we're going to write what we want to do to this image. In this case, let's place this in a charming hipster living room product photography style. Here we have four interesting options. There are issues with the placement of the chair with the rest of the sofas, but I think I like this one. So let's send this to the source image or drag it to the source area so we can continue to edit. And we're gonna write, remove the sofa behind it. Click transform. Let's see what we have. This one doesn't work. This one's a little weird. And here we go. Yes, the sofa's gone. We sell the plants. And that looks pretty good. Lesson two, upscaling your image. Let's take that image now and let's upscale it. Upscaling means we're gonna 2X the resolution. So we're gonna take that image. We're gonna click send to, and we're gonna click enhance. Here we can two to eight X the resolution. We needed to print this on a large printing space. Here we're just going to describe the image as simply as possible. In this case, we'll just write a quilted colorful chair. We're going to click enhance and let's look at this before and after sliner. It's retained the image, but the texture is coming right out. Look at the floor. The floor is much more crisp on the wood and the rug. Lesson three, generating your video. Let's send this wonderful image now over to Motion. Motion, we have every video model on the market. We like Cling 2.1 Master. So let's just simply write the camera motion we want. Camera orbits the chair as it moves in for close up. Let's select five seconds and 10 seconds. Well, let's see how this looks. Look at that. On the left, you can see the original image and now we have a fully alive product demo. Lesson three, editing your image with zoom out and in paint. Let's take that image that we enhance and let's continue to edit it by sending it to transform. We're gonna select zoom out, which allows us to expand beyond the boundaries of the image. Let's add 400 pixels to the right and left and let's render a few, pick our favorite and let's see how they turn out. All right, that looks pretty good. The room's now a little larger. And I think this is the one I like. It's a nice, clean zoom out. It's more charming composition. Let's send that image over to the source window so we can continue to manipulate it. And now let's go select the in paintbrush and select paintbrush. What we're gonna do with paintbrushes, we're gonna select the color. We can use a dropper. In this case, we're just gonna pick a random blue for this demo. And we're gonna, you'll see I'm being a little sloppy, but it's still okay. We quickly just paint the, the walls with the blue that I was kind of feeling. Now we're gonna go back and we're going to select context max. And we're simply going to write, make the wall painted blue. Let's see how that turns out. And look at that. That looks pretty good. Walls now have been painted blue. We still have the chair, we have the plants. I think it looks pretty good. If we want, we can now take this asset. And once again, we can click on motion. Here's low before and after. You can see it really just quickly. Put the blue right onto that wall. Very quick, very clean. If we wanted, we could send that over to motion. And once again, we can generate a 10 second, five second clip, whatever we need. And let's give that a look and see how that looks. Same prompt, camera orbits the chair as it moves in for close up. And I think that looks pretty good. It's a nice charming room. The focus is the chair. See this version, five seconds, a little quicker. And look at that. I think that looks wonderful. Beautiful texture, nice composition, and consistent with our original product. All right, now let's continue to manipulate that image and do some more aggressive changes to it. 
Let's quick zoom out. Let's expand the pixels now. Only 100 to the right, but on the left, 1,000. And at the bottom, 1,000 and 300 up top. So we're going to do something a little more radical to the image. Let's see what we got. Here we got a great zoom out, but I think you'll agree the floor is not looking so good. But we got the zoom out. We got a frame that we can now work with. So let's take this image. We'll send it to the source image. We can continue to edit it. Let's select in paint mode. And what we're going to do is quickly mask over, in other words, brush over the area we want changed. Let's use the generative film model. And we're just going to write the change we want to see, in this case being wooden floor. Let's click in paint. And look at that. So quickly, we have resolved our zoom out with a beautiful wooden floor. Lesson four, adding a model to your image. Now, let's take this image, continue to manipulate it. And we're going to write in the foreground, let's have a woman smiling in close up. Make sure the chair is visible in the background. We're going to get a variety of different outputs from Context Max. Here we have some images, they're OK. This one, though, it's good enough for this technical demo, so let's bring her in. And now let's change your face to a actress or a model that we hired to be in our shoot. So here we're going to use an example using Ellie, our beloved coworker, and this model's trained on her face. We're going to adjust the different transformation percentages. We're just writing woman with wavy brown hair, and we're in painting with different transformation percentage strengths. And this one looks pretty good. She should be smiling, which wouldn't hurt. So let's change the prompts if she's smiling. And just like that, we have a version of this image where now we have cast and put Ellie inside of it. Taking the image of Ellie, let's use what's context match. Let's change her shirt to pink. And let's send that to motion. Let's just do camera pushes in as she waves. And now we have cast Ellie in our product shot and we have made her smile and changed her clothes. But let's change the prompt now to camera pushing in past the smiling girl, focusing on the close up on the chair in the background. Now you can see we have cast our model and you've showcased our product. This, of course, is just a technical demo. Creativity requires iteration, uh, good taste. But with these basic workflows and skill sets, we have no doubt that you creatives out there will do stunning product photography and product video. And we look forward to seeing what you create. Have fun. Thank <laughs> you.